morning, guys. Uh, just a walkthrough on our J-Max Land Cruiser 70 Series track corrected rear differential. So this rear differential is designed to um, widen that track at the rear of a, of a 70 Series Land Cruiser. So 2007 onward uh, to be the correct track to match the front. So as most people are aware that the the rear diff on the rear of a 70, or 70 series Land Cruiser, so all of them, 78, 76, 71, um, 79, all the same, but they all are 100 mil narrower in track. So they still have the same diff out of the previous model. So what you'll find is by widening the track to match the front, these cars, when you're in the sand, especially and on dirt roads, you're not all elbows because trying to control the car. And that's essentially what you see from a non-track corrected vehicle. Now, a lot of people will go, I'll just put bigger offset wheels. However, in Australia, for example, any offset of wheel beyond 25 millimetres from standard is non-compliant. The reason it's non-compliant is because it puts excessive load on your wheel bearings. So wheel spaces are illegal, wider rims than 25 mil are illegal, and all for that reason. You do see companies making extended hubs, but again, over 25 mil, still non-compliant. And it's, it, from an engineering perspective, it's about extra stress on your wheel bearing. So that's the reason why they give you that rim limitation is putting excess stress on your wheel bearings. So adding a machined hub that gives you that and then adding a wheel is exactly the same process. It's putting excessive stress on your wheel bearings. Now, as a, as a company that do thousands of GVMs on these cars, at 20,000 Ks, you must service your wheel bearings on these cars. Um, they just need that service interval. So that's how important your wheel bearing setup is on these cars and having the right rim and tire combination, etc. So if you want to widen your track, the way to do it correctly is with a housing. So um, again, J-Max are the largest manufacturer of aftermarket differentials for Land Cruisers. We supply these all over the world into armored vehicle space, service vehicles, and also into that retail um, recreational sector. Um, full Australian manufactured, um, CNC finished. Again, these diffs are straight as a die because of our processes of how we manufacture. So it is a very specialized field, manufacturing differentials. What we've seen is people manufacturing housings, there's no machining on them. They're bent, they're trying to straighten them. They end up chewing axles in the ends here. So it's important that your diff is true and straight. So these guys here, they're a six mil wall with bracing, fully fabricated. We do an armored vehicle version of nine mil uh, for those extra heavy applications in some of those, uh, those service vehicles. Um, but these will be on our website. The other one is they're rated at um, 3000 kilos. Now, um, a lot of people use marketing on load rating. So, you know, oh, you're 3000 kilos. Someone says I'm 3020 and someone else says I'm 3150. It's all just marketing. The reality of it is, these guys will run on a 70 series Land Cruiser at a maximum of about 2,800 kilos. The reality of it is, if you've got too much weight on your rear axle and not enough on your front, your car is dangerous to drive. It has no steering, no braking capabilities. So therefore, you can rate these things as high as you like. It's, it's irrelevant. The other side of the coin is, can I fit one of these to my car? And will it give me 2850 or 2800 axle load capacity? No, it won't. Whilst the diff is rated to that, to increase your axle load on your car, you need multiple things. You need upgraded housing, you need load rated wheels, but you also need the suspension package and braking to be able to sustain that sort of load on the back of the car. So that's probably something that people miss. You can't go and buy a GVM upgrade from old mate over here and he says well my axle capacity is 2400 go and buy a 2800 kilo um, rated differential and up your rating to 2800 it does not work that way these guys have been tested and certified for example in a j-max gvm at those figures with the correct suspension the correct brakes the correct wheel and tire combinations etc etc and tested as such so but obviously you can buy one of these guys and throw it straight in your car it will correct the track it will be a much stronger unit than the factory unit um, and they're 100% Australian made. So go to our website if you want more information.